Real life fights made them famous, but their talents translated perfectly to the big screen. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 fighters turned action stars. Before we begin, we publish new videos every day, so be sure to subscribe for more great content. For this list, we're looking at successful fighters that managed to cross over into mainstream cinema. We'll be excluding those who did martial arts before becoming famous, but who weren't technically competitive fighters, so Jackie Chan and Jason Statham aren't eligible. We're also excluding professional wrestler stars like Dwayne The Rock Johnson, as their original careers were more about mass entertainment than traditional fighting. Number 10, Michael Jai White. Get Pimp and Jake out of my trunk. Tell them the rest of my money by Wednesday, I'll make him stick himself. In 1995, this esteemed martial artist put on the gloves to portray a fellow Brooklynite in HBO's Tyson. And while the role highlighted Michael Jai White's athletic ability, the film was essentially an audition for more action-oriented flicks. As a master of the martial arts, and with eight black belts to his name, White utilized his skills for a groundbreaking lead performance in the titular Spawn in 1997, which opened the doors for black actors in the superhero genre. You sent me to hell, Jason. I'm here to return the favor. Over the years, he's built an impressive resume thanks to his multifaceted skills, with lead roles in Blood and Bone and Black Dynamite, not to mention a role in Christopher Nolan's The Dark Knight as well. Enough from the clown. Let's not blow. This out of proportion. Number 9, Kung Lee. You've seen him in the UFC, and you've seen him alongside Wu Tang's Riza in 2012's The Man with the Iron Fists, but it was in Strike Force where the South Vietnamese Kung Lee originally thrived, accumulating a 7 to 1 record between 2006 and 2009. And though Lee has experienced plenty of drama inside the Octagon, he's come a long way in the entertainment industry since a 2001 appearance in Walker, Texas Ranger. In fact, 2009 marked perhaps his most prolific year on screen, with roles in Tekken, Bodyguards and Assassins, Pandorum, and the appropriately titled Fighting opposite Channing Tatum. As a three-time world champion in kickboxing, Lee has proven to be more than valuable to action directors. Number 8, Donnie Yen. Known for his insane fitness regimen and jaw-dropping action choreography, this Hong Kong native is a true icon of Asian cinema. North Americans probably know Donnie Yen as the titular character of the Ip Man franchise, and with good reason, considering the exceptional action sequences. But as far back as 1992, he starred alongside Jet Li in the film Once Upon a Time in China 2, this coming nearly a decade after his film debut in Drunken Tai Chi. As an actor, Yen can handle his business, but it's his Wing Chun routines and martial art abilities that separate him from his peers. Number 7, Gina Carano. Superhero landing. She's gonna do a superhero landing. Wait for it! During her mixed martial arts and kickboxing careers, Carano amassed a record of 19, 2, and 1. Named the hottest woman in America in 2008, Gina starred alongside Michael Jai White in 2009's Blood and Bone, and not just because of her good looks. Of course, the performance didn't go unnoticed by one of cinema's most acclaimed directors, Steven Soderbergh, who cast the fighter in a leading role in Haywire. The action sequences, in which Gina performed her own stunts, proved to be phenomenal, leading her to the Fast and the Furious franchise and a role in Deadpool. Gene is bound to be a unique and lasting force in Hollywood for years to come. Number 6, Wesley Snipes. This esteemed actor may be a recognized Hollywood figure, but it was karate and hapkido that got him started. In fact, Wesley Snipes earned black belts for both martial arts in the early 70s, a full decade before he appeared in Michael Jackson's music video for Bad. Are you bad? Hmm? Or is that what they teach you up at that little sissy school of yours? With his striking on-screen presence and phenomenal agility, it only made sense that Snipes became a legit action star in the early 90s. For his performance in Demolition Man, Snipes earned a Best Villain nomination at the MTV Movie Awards. Is it cold in here, or is it just me? 
Good memory. By the end of the decade, he choreographed and starred in the box office sensation Blade. In terms of Hollywood, Wesley Snipes first demonstrated his acting talent and later crossed over into action, making him a unique martial arts figure of his generation. Number 5. Jet Li You'll let me go. I'll let you live. This former Wushu champion has seen his martial arts skills translate beautifully to the silver screen over the years. After establishing himself as a bona fide action star in Chinese and Hong Kong movies through the 80s and 90s, Jet Li would first arrive into the Hollywood scene in Lethal Weapon 4. He'd then find himself top billing in movies like Romeo Must Die, Kiss of the Dragon, and Cradle to the Grave. Nowadays, he's been known for starring among a host of other big name action heroes as martial arts expert Yin Yang in the Expendables franchise. Number 4, Randy Couture. We all know I wrestled in college. Right. Aside from being a UFC Hall of Famer, this veteran brawler is also one of the original Expendables. During the mid-2000s, Randy Couture wasn't exactly landing the biggest roles, but he was in the midst of an epic run as UFC champ. And so, his absolute dominance in the octagon set in motion a noteworthy movie career. In 2008, Randy appeared in The Scorpion King 2, Rise of a Warrior, which preceded an iconic turn as Toll Road alongside other action icons in the Expendables franchise. Not a bad credit to have on the old action star resume. Number 3, Chuck Norris. As seen in the 2015 documentary, Chuck Norris vs. Communism, this man's influence on the modern world is truly extraordinary. Chuck Norris even founded his own martial art called Chun Kuk Du. But the legend all started in the late 60s as Black Belt Magazine named the former Air Force Policeman Fighter of the Year in 1969. The same year, Chuck made his film debut in The Wrecking Crew, and later appeared with the one and only Bruce Lee in 1972's Way of the Dragon. Of course, it was his 80s filmography that influenced an entire generation of action fanatics and meme makers. Small world, huh, Barney? Booker? Rumor had that you were dead. Yeah, I heard that too. Number 2. Jean-Claude Van Damme The 80s were a magical time for action flicks, and this man elevated the genre through his blood, sweat, and the fear he imposed on his enemies. As a teenager, Jean-Claude Van Damme actually studied karate and ballet, which led to a successful martial arts career in his native Belgium. But Van Damme was not destined to dance. He was destined for 80s classics like Bloodsport and Kickboxer. The 90s only enhanced his persona as a legend within the genre. Most stars of his kind tend to easily fade away with age, but JCVD keeps finding new ways to impress, all the while proving he's far from expendable given his prolific resume. Before we unveil our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. Oh, hell no. Slide over, slowly. You jacking me? What is this, opposite day? I'm not a thief, but if I don't reach my friend in time, then he dies. Thank God you showed up. These parties bore me to death. <laughs> Number one, Bruce Lee. As the preeminent example of a fighter turned action star, this man's untimely death produced a mythical persona. Born in the Chinatown section of San Francisco, Bruce Lee studied under the legendary Yip Man, learning the art of Wing Chun, which came in handy on the rough streets of late 50s Hong Kong. But as the son of a noted opera star, Lee was naturally drawn to performance art. By the early 70s, he not only starred in Fist of Fury, but also established an immediate legacy with his breathtaking turn in Way of the Dragon. Perhaps most notably, however, 1973's Enter the Dragon is arguably the most influential martial arts film ever made, and with good reason. Bruce Lee is the go-to example for any fighter looking to become a legit action star. Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from WatchMojo and subscribe for new videos every day.